So this is a review of the Top B TB02 rooftop tent. It's a hard shell, clamshell, whatever you want to call it. But this thing is built like a tank. It's it's honestly surprised the hell out of me. Free two day uh, prime shipping and and this is the best deal on Amazon right now for a rooftop tent. So you can see from uh, all this, the uh, build quality is pretty damn good. Pretty uh, tight tolerances, nothing misaligned. Brackets, uh, clamps right here to lock the tent are pretty tight. Struts are beefy, still got the plastic on them. And underneath here, you can see they're mounted using the standard uh, whatever the hell you call those plate uh, those bracket clamp things onto my roof rack. And uh, comes with a telescoping all aluminum ladder. Now what I really like about this is these uh, clamps right here are lockable so you can put a padlock on these. Super easy to open to. You can see here. Everything is uh, Pulls in pretty pretty good. This was like my second time ever opening this thing. But uh, the struts do most of the work. And then you just pull down this elastic band that keeps everything tucked in so it doesn't stick out. It makes it easier to tuck everything in when you're closing it too. But yeah, I mean this uh, this fabric on here is pretty awesome as well. It's Honestly, the same level of quality, if not even a little thicker and better than my Rome Vagabond Light rooftop tent that I had. And in person, it's a really nice gray with a bright orange. So nobody's, hopefully, nobody's going to be shooting you if you're in the forest and camping. Really nice hinges over here. I haven't uh, noticed anything that would concern me. This ladder... Uh, Pretty good. I had a bit of trouble trying to figure out how to use it exactly. I've only used these a couple of times, but you see the mounts uh, come already screwed in, so you don't have to tighten or loosen anything, and they're right in the right spot. There's a mount on both sides and a mount on the back, but I can only get in from the sides since you know, I got a big tire on the back. Zippers are nice. Uh, still a little bit hard to use when you get to the top, but uh, I think that's just because it's so new. And pretty easy to get into as well. Lots of space, you can just sit here. What I really, really like is this organizer, lots of pockets, and the roof of it has this very nice felt fabric uh, thing. And here's this mattress that comes with it. Which I was surprised it came with a mattress for 1100 bucks. Really, really impressed. Lots of legroom. You know, I can lay there, and it's even got a window above the front door. Seriously, this thing is awesome, man. And the organizer looks to be removable. You got a LED light strip on the side, plugs into USB. Comes with the shoe uh, holders as well as tent poles for the awning that goes on the front and the sides. Hi there. Uh, what you got going on, man? Just uh, making a YouTube video. Oh, um, yeah, we had some residents concerned that someone was sleeping on the property, like camping out. Someone was sleeping on the property, like camping out. Um, That's, uh... Yeah, because it, it, I mean, it does kind of look like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so, if, uh, you could just make sure you're not, and kind of oh, break no. this down for me. Sure, um, I'll do that in a little bit. So much. Sorry about that. I'm going to avoid going on a 10 minute rant about how much I hate that guy. Anyway, light strip is mounted nicely there, and here is me opening up this front skylight window thing. I love this. It will be really nice in the mornings. And all of the doors and windows roll up nicely. You can tie them with these oval, uh, whatever the heck these things are called, these orange and black things right here. 
but each door and window has them and they work really well. things are really solid and the whole tent has a zipper going around it which allows you to the fabric tears replace it here's a close-up on these guys all around man I mean the stitching is really well done this thing is it's honestly I'm super impressed for 1100 bucks I, I was not expecting this much and the uh, mattress has a anti-condensation mat underneath that solid metal underneath that mattress is pretty soft I'd probably be able to store a lot of bedding and you can see here this build quality man it's it's awesome you know, it looks solid I think that's welded on now close up on the foot uh, the shoe bags and more close-ups on the side that zipper again really if you have I bet you could even put in like a different company's uh, lining and it would work if you ever needed to. But here's a look around it. A little bit of a scale for headroom. I'm 5'7", but I still have that much. I'm not that tall, but yeah, <laughs> I approve. And that's what climbing out of it looks like. And yeah, putting this thing up, not bad at all. It, uh, my old tent, uh, it took like 20 minutes to set up and tear down. This takes maybe two minutes. So yeah, you just wanna get that elastic around the middle of this when you're putting it up. Then pull down this thing. I closed all of these windows because I don't want water getting in. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that, but as you can see, there's a lot of air in here, but uh, it's not too bad. Just gotta be slow with it. And then you got plenty of room, like so much room, to tuck these guys in. The fabric liner. Like, this thing is extremely spacious. I mean, I, like I said earlier, I can probably fit my sleeping bag heated blanket, and then a little uh, thing I use for a carpet, so I make the ground a little softer. The ladder closed up uh, really easy as well. Seriously man, for the money, you, you get a lot. And here's a bit of a close-up. You know, see there's plenty of room to tuck these in. I don't see these ever getting stuck, but make sure you tuck them in before you close your tent. This is a sweet freaking tent. The cheapest tent on Amazon has exceeded my expectations. 10 out of 10. I would 100% recommend this thing. Closing it's pretty easy too, you know. Just make sure everything's tucked in and then do the clamps, put on your padlock and you're good to go. So all in all, seriously, if you're thinking about this, don't. This is the tent to get. This is probably the same damn tent that everybody else is selling with their own logo on it. And there's no need to pay that overland tax. You don't need to spend four grand on a tent. This was 1100 bucks, and it's probably still on sale for $150 off right now. I mean, get it before everyone else gets it. You know, this tent is, I honestly, I thought I was going to have to spend two grand for a hard shell tent like this, but this is, this tent is fantastic. I have no regrets and I cannot wait to go take this out camping. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Thank you.